bass can and kick it. So next fight, Brendan Shaw versus Big Nog. Big Nog. Big Nog. Which which one of the Nogs is the one that got mauled, or is it the Nogs? Um, by a bull. Minotaur. So that's big. Because it's Antonia's the little yeah. So this is the one no, that got it, more by a bull. It wasn't a bull. It was a truck. I thought I told you he got more by a bull because I was an idiot and an idiot, an idiot and it, yeah. See, look, I've said I called myself an idiot twice. That's not it. And it was actually just a truck. Interesting. I thought it was a bull for some reason. Somebody told me it was a bull. But Maybe it was a bull truck. Could have been carrying bulls. A truck with bull's horns on the front, like. Yeah. And that's yeah. why Chael Sonnen was doing that interview. Like they were petting the thing like a bull, petting the bus because they thought it was a animal we've done it again haven't we fuck okay keep going right brendan Chow versus big nog okie dokie another big name for brendan Chow. he's possibly he's... coming to the end of his career maybe big nog you mean? big nog yeah he's, he's getting, getting older he's getting older not he... old yeah older yeah that's what i said everyone's getting older <laughs> <laughs> wise words <laughs> brendan sharp seems to be at the moment going through Big names who, well, people who from used to be big names from the past, like Gonzaga, Mika Krokop. Krokop. And I just see this being another, another one. one that he's going to get. I think that Sharp's going to be a bit too fast for Nog. I think that I don't see Nog particularly taking Sharp down. I think Sharp's But if he does, Jiu Jitsu from the Nogueira brothers, as usual, is. is Awesome. Top class. So, so Sharp's going to have to look out for that. Big risk on the ground, but of course Sharp is just basically a striker, isn't he? Yeah, he's got quite good wrestling. He's got good well. wrestling, but he's he, he likes to pick apart. Yeah, sometimes, and he's, he's knocked, a, he's knocked a mm. these people out. Um, yeah, his only loss was to Roy Nelson, where he got knocked out. But That's Roy Nelson. Uh, but yeah, and I mean, when you get knocked out like he did against Roy Nelson, it wasn't particularly like, oh man. It's a flash knockout. Yeah, it, but... Um, so yeah, I don't know why. I just have a feeling Sharp has the edge in this, in the striking. Not on the ground though. But not on the ground. But he has the edge in the striking, and he has the edge in the ability to not get taken down. If you know what I mean. Mm. So I'm picking Sharp by, I think late third round TKO because he's going to be standing with no go, a uh, uh, big nog for most of the fight, and he's going to really wear down mm. him. And I know that the Nogueira brothers aren't so good when fights. Go the distance. Cardio. They get, they and get they're tired. getting a bit older as well. Yeah, so that's they always usually get tired. So I'm just picking Sharp. He's going to capitalise when when Big Nog's tired towards mm. the end of the third round, and he's going to finish him by punches. <laughs> punches and bunches. I remember when I went? He's going to finish him by a strike. <laughs> okay. That was in the UFC 133 video. Yeah. Sorry about that. That was a brief. That was a pathetic. shit video. We're sorry. We're, we're contemplating redoing it. Just basically saying the same thing, but better. Yeah. Sorry about that. Four dislikes. <laughs> Don't touch me, sucker. So yeah, I'm going Chao by unanimous. Yeah. Okay. 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 Next fight. I'm possibly our favorite of the night. This looks like a good fight. A good rematch. fight. Rematch. Rematch. Yes, rematch. Forrest Griffin versus Maurizio Shogun Rua. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. The ultimate fighter versus Maurizio Shogun. <laughs> now, I, I can see this one being a very close one. Rue is obviously coming off a loss from Two. John Jones. He got dominated, let's be honest. Yep. And Forrest Griffin is coming off a win to Rich Franklin where he dominated him the entire fight. Mm, so, so, so into the spectrum there. Okay, I'll go first. Yeah, you go first. I one. personally give Forrest Griffin the edge in this. I think Rua is like most people who come from Pride. When they join the UFC, mm -hmm. they don't do too well. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, they're sort of. They're, they're not like, as dominant as they were in Pride. Particularly. Not necessarily because they're not as good, but. Not as good as the competition it's in the UFC. It's but... because Pride's over, and the people mm. who were in Pride are getting old now, I reckon. Yeah, older. Older. Not old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like Vandalay Silver. We saw that yeah. back at UFC 132. But um, I think Forrest Griffin has the edge in the stand-up. Um, I would give Rua the edge if they ended up falling into a deep ground game. But I don't mm. think if... When it does go to mm. the ground, 
I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Well, I think Rue's Ru- got good jiu-jitsu, man. Griffin's got good ground game in general. He's, he's, he's an all round good fighter. Yeah, he's 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 he's, he's sort of he's like, like a, he's not necessarily a specialist. He's a yeah. He's, he's just like he's a bit. He's a he's a he's a mixed martial artist basically. Yeah, he's a mixed martial artist. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's grown that way. Yeah, I think that um, maybe if this ends up do go, it does go into the ground, and if Griffin's on top, we I saw that. Yeah, we saw I, think that he'll, I think he'll handle it. I mm. think. I think uh, Griffin w- will not get submitted particularly. And I think he'll ground a pound just like mm. how uh, John, Jones. John Jones did, and I think he'll vicious elbows. And I think he'll do what he did to Rich Franklin, but I think he'll be more hesitant because Rich Franklin has no fucking jujitsu. Mm. So I am going to go Forrest Griffin by unanimous decision. I think Rua is not the top of his game anymore. He's past his prime, in my opinion. Um, I d- I don't know whether I agree with that though because I think. Jones is possibly just on another level to what we've seen in MMA so far. Well, jo- yeah, maybe Jones has made him look shit. Yeah, but, but I think I think Rue has lost a lot of confidence lately. I just mm. and I think it was injured before the Jones fight, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and I think Forrest has gained quite a bit of confidence yeah. against Rich Franklin. So I'm going Forrest Griffin by unanimous decision. I'm going Forrest Griffin by unanimous decision. Blah, 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 blah. Same yeah. as him, what he said. <laughs> also, a little little thing here. Who do you think will fight the winner of this? Because <laughs> you're ready for this. T two or T's? I get he's what what? Light heavyweight. Yeah. T two or T's will fight the winner. Ryan Bader. Yeah, he won't fight the winner though. He'll fight if the, he does, he'll fight the so loser funny. of this fight. I reckon. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. But that it will still be funny. I just can't wait to see Tito fucking fight again. Mm. Anyway, okay. Oh. So, main event of the evening, Anderson Silva versus Yushin Okami. Okay. Silva wins by... Knockout for me. Yeah. Okay, let's just... Can't, let's can't just really this. see this going any other way. Right, I understand why Okami's been given this title mm. shot, because he does deserve it. He won a contender fight against Nate Marquardt. But... Or is it Marquette? It's Marquardt. It's not Marquette. <laughs> <laughs> but, personally, Okami isn't... Anywhere near the standard isn't anywhere near the standard or anywhere near the standard in my opinion of Chael Sonnen mm. or there are a lot of other middleweight guys in my opinion who are better than Okami Michael Bisping <laughs> no <laughs> that'll cause lots of controversy Bisping Okami would be a good fight I yeah, think yeah. but right yeah Michael Bisping is the best pound for pound fighter in the world yeah just let you know just let you guys know that especially you Bob and Gog yeah you love him. Michael Bisping is the best motherfucker On in the, the world planet. hear me you better hit me. Anyway, Okami. I'm joking, by the way. Because there are some. I think we noticed. There are, there are some. Re- no, there are some retards who will believe that that was okay. truth. Anyway, Okami. He's got good wrestling. It's quite rare to see a Japanese wrestler. Um, so, I think. Well, we all obviously know Silver. But not. Okay, I'm not going to try and pronounce that word. Uh, Silver has great stand up. Great phenomenal, ground. Phenomenal, yeah, I just yeah. I can never say it. Never fun comes up my mouth. Great stand up. Yeah, great if the, ground. If there game. is one weak weakness in his game, it's not really weakness. It's just that he's not a wrestler. Yeah, he's that's he, it. He is success. Fuck. He is. Yeah, he can't deal. Well, he can deal with wrestlers, but it is the thing he deals worst with. Yeah, is wrestlers. So, yeah, I'm gonna. Th- I'm thinking that silver. In the first round, Okami's going to come out looking for takedowns, I reckon, for some reason. I just, uh, I you just can't stand with Anderson Silva. No, That's he just, doesn't want to. It's like the okay. first law of MMA, don't yeah. stand with Anderson Silva. Okami's going to look for takedowns. They're going to end up going against the fence, and Silva's not going to have much space to work, really, I don't think, for the first round. But then, I think either... what's gonna, uh, Maybe the ref will uh, break him up, because Okami's not doing anything, mm. and Silva might knock him out then. Mm. Or Silver's gonna knock him out at the beginning of the second round when he gets the chance. I think, I think that Silver's gonna maybe rock him with a, a combination, and then throw maybe a head kick, or I don't think it's gonna a be Steven Seagal. I don't think it's gonna be a Steven Seagal because it's too predictable now. I well, think it's not only predictable. Well, people are, you I, did it once. If I nah, if Steven Seagal had taught Leo to Machida and Anderson Silver to do it right. And I knew that you're just gonna sit there. With like I would. That. I would be like, he's not fucking doing that to me, and I'd, and I'd stay back. <laughs> but um, maybe he's gonna maybe catch him with a knee, how he did with Rich Franklin. Who knows? But I, I'm gonna go for. Um, 
Okay, I'm not going to hit go Can I say first? I'm going uh, okay. TKO second round. All right. I'm going to go TKO Just so you have to agree well. with me. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I think he's going to get him in the clinch and knee him mm. and fuck him in the middle of the ring. It's also got ready. a massive home advantage. This crowd is going to be... Yeah, this is going to be like a GSP crowd for Canada. Friday the Silver. So, yep. Picking Anza Silva, second round. That could help with Rua and uh, Big Nog, who we've both chosen again. <laughs> oh, God. What have we done? <laughs> no, it's all right. Yeah. Right, yo. Yep. Cool. Thanks for watching, Thanks guys. For watching. Uh, check out our top five um, playlist. We've got all sorts of videos in there you yeah. should check out. Um, with lots of cool effects on the fives, hopefully. Hopefully, if we get in the future. Around. Anyway, cheers for watching. Thanks. Ta-da, love. Bye. <laughs>